Uh, today I'm going to set up Kubernetes cluster in Ubuntu machine uh, 18.04 so I'm going to follow official guide to set up Kubernetes cluster using kube admin tool here I'm choosing a uh, version 1.14 uh, as Kubernetes version I'm connecting to my Ubuntu machine which is located in Nepal uh, using team viewer uh, right, let me come copy that one see what other things it's going to do so it says apt get update. All right, so it requires sudo. Let me become sudo there. Okay, now let's paste that again. So it's going to update the machine and install uh, apt transport https and then uh, call command, which is actually going to download all the packages later on. All right, that part is success. Good news. And let me add that um, repository. This is actually going to add apt key, gpt key for apt key. Right, it's added successfully there. Now I need a uh, Right, so this is basically saying okay this is the location where you have to download your packages there uh, as an apt kit repository so let me add that one this is successful now update that one install the kubelet kube admin and kube satellite once and then all right let me try that all three at once All right, so I'm gonna read some other thing here if I'm going to need or modify. So yeah, it's saying uh, configure cgroup driver used by Kubelet or mouse or node. So basically this cgroup driver, uh, Docker and then Kubelet should use the same one. Uh, it, it can be like cgroup fs or systemd, All right? Let's get back there, we're still taking time. And that's it, I think. Once the kube admin is installed, I can do um, kube admin in it and have another uh, page open for that one. I will follow that one after that. And this is just a one node machine, or it, it is same like master and uh, uh, worker is same. So I'm not gonna use any other machine. I think it's about to complete now. All right, I think the kube admin is available now. And let me confirm one thing whether it's installed docker or not i don't know definitely not so i may have to install that one but i don't know if any kube admin actually do that uh so as for this uh, kube admin is tool build uh, to provide kube admin init and kube admin join so basically kube admin init is uh, going to set up the initial Kubernetes cluster, which is the master node, and then uh, it can set up the certificates and then all the uh, scheduler, controller, uh, API servers, something like that, right? So let me run that one. Uh, seems uh, straightforward. I don't know if I have to modify anything. I'm gonna use like default flag there. Uh, I don't have to modify anything like uh, API server advertised address. Uh, bind ports, I think I can use 6443, nothing is using that one. Um, certificate key, I think it's gonna use the default one, so I don't have to manage that one. Alright, let me let me try to run that, like kube admin init, and let's see what it does. Uh, admin init. Alright, so it says running pre flight checks. Could not create the interface used for talking to container runtime docker is required all right so looks like docker is mandatory running with swap on is not supported please disable swap swap on let me do that p minus uh, c yeah, swap is on all So yeah, I can do minus A to this all Alright, let me see if it's gonna show it again or not. Yeah, the swap is disabled already. I mean you can use different command, but I'm using free minus C. Oh. 
It... Alright, now Dakar is available, right? So, I can try Kuba Admin. In need of time. So, what other thing it's doing? It's saying Docker service is not enabled. Please run system CTL enable Docker service. Uh, detect a C group FS so you can actually find that one. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, well, uh, pulling images required for setting up a Kubernetes cluster. Please follow the guide. Okay. This might take a minute or two depending on the speed of your internet connections. You can also perform this action in beforehand using kube admin config image pull. Alright, that's cool. I didn't know that command before. So that's fine. I think it's gonna download all the images required for this uh, cluster, which is basically, I think it requires scheduler, controller, API servers. Uh, those are the mandatory one. We already installed Kubelet here. And then it's gonna set up like networking components. I don't know which networking company it's gonna use. I'm guessing Calico or maybe Flannel as a default one. Uh, I can like, uh, we can change or make a modification on a like networking component later on, I think. Um, so yeah, I think it looks like it's uh, created everything there already. And it's uh, recommending uh, actually move that uh, admin config to config file, which is actually a default location kubectl is gonna look at. Um, and it's also saying Kube admin join and this machine if you wants to join other cluster there. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so let's see if it's gonna work or not. I mean, technically, I should have to like copy paste all this command there. And my plan is to like actually run this as a Ubuntu user there. So let me make a. It's already copied there. So let me paste that one. Uh, yeah, it's I was running a sudo and then all right, let's see if I uh, have cluster or not. Uh, you can do like cluster info. Yeah, so it looks like it's the master is running perfectly healthy on port 6443. I can do actually see a couple of Docker command, I mean, Docker container running here. Yeah, so if you look at here, it's running proxy. Uh, looks like two proxy scheduler SCD is running. Uh, I think SCD. I mean, I, I don't know where it's storing uh, default data. It's all default configuration. I was simply running co uh, in it, co admin in it. It's running controller API service is fine. SCD uh, scheduler controller API server. Right? It's for multiple containers for that. Uh, we can verify uh, how many parts. Simply running kubectl get power scope system all right so one thing is it's not able to set up the coordinates yet I don't know why it's not running there all right and I haven't seen anything any networking component there that's interesting I was hoping it's gonna set up that one somehow it's not doing it oh yeah, it was mentioning like okay yeah, so it's actually require okay. So network component is add-ons, which is good. Alright, I'm going with Calico there. Uh adding Alright, so here this is the command I have to run it, right? Uh I think it's gonna work with the latest one. Uh, I mean, uh, let it page over there, so I, I think it's gonna work. Yeah, let me try that. Um, get parse, let's see what other things it's installed. All right, so install Calico controller, which is actually pending there, uh, Calico node. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't need to find other stuff, which is good. This is gonna work or not? So it's still uh, pending. I think it's trying to download the images uh, for now. I mean, my networking is super slow, so that expected. Node is it's gonna run in each and every node or each and every master also. Uh, basically, it's running at the demon set. As a, it's an overly network. And once this uh, component is completed, like networking component is completed, uh, code in is will come up. We go our super healthy cluster there. I mean, yeah, this cluster is up and running now. Uh, Cubsetel version, you can check that one. 
and you can see I have like client uh, as a 142 and then server also like 142 there and I think it's, it was using like Kubernetes uh, manifest as a default location there and you can see all of my manifest file as it is API server controller and scheduler is running as a static manifest file which is good which is permission to that, right? Uh, so yeah, as it is running as a version three, which is good. There, so it's using, like there is a certificate located in the same PKA folder. I think it's a Kubernetes also storing there, and this is my data, valid as it is. Who is actually mounted to that, and then actually eventually going to mount to like inside containers, uh, data directory like that. So yeah, that's cool. And it's using 2380 as a server port and 2379 as a client port. Time. Yeah, everything looks good. I can test with some uh, sample application. So I have one trash scan. Every time I run that one to verify whether it's actually working or not. Uh, right. So let me try hello world application there. So this is basically saying deploy my hello world. Um, as a replicas one and this is uh, simply running uh, container nginx 115.8 and it's also going to create a service object uh, which is exposed as an ingress controller uh, so yeah all right let me try that let me exp uh, read out a raw file and deploy that one Right, let me run that one uh, and all of them is deployed in a, a default namespace i think uh, so you can actually run uh, kubectl get parts and see uh, yeah this is actually pending right now uh, it's trying to download the images and you can see uh, deployment is created or not there yeah so this is actually created i can actually get the service object like that and it's actually created service object you can describe the service object and see if it's actually uh, routing traffic to any of the part i mean part is not ready yet so uh, or maybe it's already ready i don't know we shall describe a uh, part and then do that sorry not the part it's the service Yeah, it's a uh, port is 80, IP is that, and there is no endpoints listed yet. So I think the part is still not ready. I don't know why it's pending there. I can describe it though. Let me describe the part, uh, will describe part. Alright, makes sense. Uh, it's saying like zero slash one nodes are available. One node had tens that the pod did not tolerate. The problem is, all of my node is master, which is only one node. So I need to make this master somehow schedulable, right? I, I should able to uh, schedule the uh, workloads. Uh, I think I just have to remove the tent. Uh, or I can add that tent and toleration or I can simply remove that tent and toleration uh, But I don't know how it behaves. So let me google it uh, When I say I don't know how it behave uh, Be for other components like Calico or something it might create some prompt uh, Yeah, I was looking for something like that man That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Um, let me try that. Oh, yeah, that did the trick. It's actually trying to create it now, so I'm hoping it's gonna run. creating the containers there so it's just a simple hello lab to kids still taking time this is R I was hoping it's actually 
Oh yeah, it's not actually downloaded the Docker image at all, right? So yeah, that makes sense. There you go, our happy cluster, our happy hello application is here. You can access this one. I mean, uh, if you look at here, like do SVC and then all right. So this is exposed as a cluster IP. And to access that cluster IP, what you can do is like uh, create the service. I mean, it's, I also created the ingress object here. So I need an ingress controller or something like that, which I'm not gonna install it here. So what I'm going to do is like expose this one as a load balancer, uh, or no, not the load balancer actually. Um, yeah, I don't have anything like metal LB or something just to create the load balancer there, right? So what I can do is instead like expose as a node board and access or test using node board there. But let me try that. Do I have VM? Go. Um, yeah, let's move to here. Right. So what it does is like uh, now expose service exit as a uh, node port. So you can access this service using three two two nine zero. Like like that. And you can see this actually responding. So that that was I mean I was using like simple Nginx server there, so it is actually responding with the text there. So yeah, this cluster is perfectly working. So what do we cover here? Is I created a, a Kubernetes cluster in a Ubuntu 18.04 using Kube admin. And I also install Calico networking components there and I try to deploy a simple hello application exposed as a node port service object. And I tried using uh, accessing that service using simple call command at port 32290, which is running as a which is actually a proxy port there.